I took a walk through the VIP tent before the crowd descended as the white-coated caterers set up for the last big party of the summer. So many tables were original. Don't you love the personalized tablecloth? Most of the centerpieces were floral and one even overflowed down the sides of the table. At one point I stopped and talked with Pamela Levine whose table caught my eye because hats are so big at the classic. Listen to what she had to say. What's with the hats on the table? That's pretty amazing. We went with hats and horseshoes this year. And my niece, the Susskind table, we coordinated our colors and our, our um, tablecloths. And we just are having a fun time decorating. And you're very connected with the show for a special reason, right? Yes. My girls rode here forever. And my daughter right now, Chanette. Barth Cohen is the executive director. Too bad the horses had to stay on the Grand Prix field. They would have loved this centerpiece. Nothing like a table with a view of the Hunter Ring on one side and the Jumper Arena on the other. And what would the Hampton Classic be without champagne? Louis Roederer appeared to have cornered the market with its bottles taking center stage on not one but two tables. So here's a toast to one of the country's most interesting shows. I can't wait to come back next year.